Hello and uh, welcome to Bane Plays Let's Play. This is an oldie but goodie. You know, this is the game that got me into RPGs, especially JRPGs. And uh, I love this game. I think it's the mu the background musics and the uh, and some of the videos in it have kind of stood the test of time background music especially I love the background music and I know there are going to be people going to be pissed off because this is the, pl the computer version not the PlayStation version so it's not got the CD quality music it's you know Final Fantasy 7 there's Aerith, Aerith however you want to pronounce it I don't really care but uh for its age a lot of the video quality has really kept it's really done very well the character designs they could be smoothed out a lot they're all sharp angles and you know something I noticed earlier whenever I did a run of this before you they're all, you know, sharp angles, and some of them have just mouths that are wide open. But there's Midgar with its eight reactors. We're going to go blow one up. But, uh... One of the things I like is the fact that it's got some... Like, if you watch, you can see when it changes from the animation to the hand-drawn background. When the train becomes hand-drawn background. Right there. Alright. And here's Spike. I'm not going to change any of the names. I'm just going to go with the default names. You know. I don't feel like being creative. <laughs> with the names. So yes, this is going to be Cloud and Airs, Tifa, and Barrett, and Red 13. I'm literally just holding down the select button, the button that selects all this, because that first fight is just too easy. There's literally nothing to that fight that's dangerous. Alright, we come in here, and he talks. You used to be in Soldier, not not. We're in Avalanche. Soldier, aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? Yeah. I like how most of the important things are, like, capitalized always. Alright, yeah, we're gonna go, like I said, with the original names. Nobody cares. You're completely unimportant. Your sprite isn't even that unique. Out of the three of you, the one with the most unique sprite is Wedge, and that's because he's kind of chubby. I don't trust you. Yeah, yeah, Barry. We know you don't trust us. Yeah. Now, I want you to think about how insane that would be in an actual real-life conversation. Uh, you know, oh, how do you run? You press down, you hold the directional button and press the cancel button. Wait, what? Oh, are we going to actually face a dangerous one? Yeah. The guard hound? You know, the dog with the weird tentacle thing coming out back with its neck? It's actually the more dangerous of the two enemies. Because it can dodge and it normally survives more than one hit. But we are going into the reactor. Look at this. I love the hand-drawn backgrounds. I'm... There's certain things about RPGs that I miss. Alright, let's see what he says. First time in a reactor? I was in Soldier. I did work for Shinra. 
Planet's full of Mako energy, people who use it every day. It's the lifeblood of this planet, but Shinner keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. I'm not here for lectures, let's just do this. Alright, you come with me from now on, because Barrett's kind of pissed. Anyways, the way we get through is we talk to Biggs. And then Jesse. Way over here. There you go. Hey, Jesse. Code, decipher, door open, all that good stuff. Now, before you go in there, we come down here, and it's a Phoenix Down. I remember what it was. Like, I really, I don't even need to uh, look for it, but no. See, now we have two Phoenix Downs, an Ether, or Ether, or however you want to pronounce it. Five potions, but we will get one. Equipment, Buster Sword, Bronze Bangle, Gatlin Gun, Bronze Bangle. The only reason why I would want to grind a little bit in this early area, which I'm not going to do, is to get cash. That's not my problem, Barrett. Plants died, it's everybody's problem. Let's get out of here. Shake that fit shake that gun fist at me. Now if you notice Jessie over there, she, her mouth is wide open. That's literally because she has no other facial expression. No, not back into the elevator. This way. Yeah, her mouth hanging wide open is literally the only facial expression she has. Facial. Facial expression she has. The bad part is, is Barrett pretty much can't damage these things enough to kill them in one hit. Well, wow. That proved me wrong. I know there's some stuff in here that he can't kill in one hit until he gets the uh, upgraded weapon. Get the fight the boss. Spoiler territory. Not really, because, yeah. If I'm spoiling anything in this game for you, and she's telling us how to use a ladder, if I'm spoiling anything in this game for you, it's because you've either, you know, never made it this far. <laughs> fight. Fight, 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 fight. See, these guys right here, Barrett can't kill in one hit. Watch this. Come on, Barrett. Whereas, Cloud should be able to. Yeah. See, Cloud's able to kill him in one hit, Barrett can't. Because Barrett's gun is not powerful enough. Alright, let's murder these things. Hopefully, Barrett can kill that one. Oh look, I got a crit. When the screen flashes like that, it means that you get a crit. So, that's how you know you get a crit. I kind of wish that uh, I could go into the materia right now, but I can't. All I can do is show what magic I have. Because this game is... This is tutorial area. Tell you the truth, this is the tutorial area. That's why she's telling you how to do that. It's why you got Barrett following you. It's why the boss fight is simple. You know, you don't always have to have gigantic, epic boss fights. And we're gonna save the game. We're gonna do it under this file. See? And I'm going to save another one down here. I'm going to keep a second save file going. What in the world is wrong with this? Oh! You! Ah. That's a, that's a mechanical enemy, so... See, Barrett could hit it for full damage if he wanted to. But his da full damage isn't much. Cloud killed it in one hit. Yeah, I, 
I didn't put the curse shield back on uh, memory. I like playing it with the cursor on memory because sometimes I just don't want to memorize all that. I don't want to have to move everything. Especially when you're grinding and it's, you know, just hard. It's horrible. See, whenever we get to where I can uh, buy and sell stuff, that ether is probably going to go into the shop. It's going to be worth some decent cash and I can sell it. It's a sellable item. Restore material. Can't wait to use that. Ain't going to be nothing more than a hunk of junk cloud you set the bomb. Shouldn't you do it? I just do it. I got to watch to make sure no you don't pull nothing. Fine, I'll do it. Hey, watch out. This isn't just a reactor. What is it? We've been going for 11 minutes. Which means... We'll be out of here before the... We'll be out of the reactor by the 20 minute mark. Hopefully. Depending on how long it takes to kill the guard scorpion. Which... If it takes too long... Uh, Alright, now, with this fight, Cloud, you don't want to attack with him. You want to use magic because Bolt does more. Alright. Bolt will do more damage than, Cloud's, than Cloud or Barrett's physical attacks. Until, you know, Barrett goes limit break. Uh, I should have held off for a second. Could have gotten the limit break in. But, uh. We're gonna potion up Barrett. Because one, I, I'm gonna probably end up doing something stupid. There's this thing that you're not really supposed to do. Alright, let's hit it with a bolt. Oh! Yeah, th this is the dumb thing that you're not supposed to do. Yeah. The thing is, is... It's gonna do like a hundred and something damage. Oh! Wow, not as much as I thought it would. The cloud got his limit break. You know what? Let me break them. Oh. Barrett got his limit break back. He should be dead soon. Should be dead soon. Now, literally, I did one of the dumbest things I could do by attacking him while the tail laser was prepping. Because it was a this is a tutorial boss and it's supposed to teach you how to, you know, observe the bosses, observe your enemies and see how they react to different things, but I didn't care. I tanked it. Alright, 10 minutes to detonation, we're good. We are good for now. We fill up some, and we come down here and we equip Barrett with an assault gun. Which, taking those 12 seconds to do that, means that we will get out of here that much quicker. Because 
because we won't have to, well, because Barrett will have some actual damage dealing capabilities. And, they're both, and they're not both, you know, closer to death. Uh, so I have to use magical cloud for this one. Since they're getting back attacks, they're technically in the back row. Which means that Cloud's physical attack is going to be lower. Let's see. Oh, we're well on the way to getting out of here by the 20 minute mark. Now, if only. Only I had a uh, all material equipped where I could sit there and hit everything. Since we're hitting, since technically we were hitting them from behind, we were doing more damage. We we're doing double damage. Look at that. We got three potions out. Of She's stuck, so we gotta unstick her foot. Her leg got stuck. I don't see how with those big boats that you have on the end of them. No. Of course, it is pretty much just the art style, the limitations of the art style. To tell you the truth, that's 90% of the problem with the character designs. The limitations to the art style and How limited the original hardware was. Alright. See, Baird's gonna kill one of them in one hit as well because his weapon has been upgraded. And it's been two and a half minutes since we uh, beat the boss. I don't. I am not a speedrunner. I've never claimed to be a speedrunner. It's just this early part is so easy and it gives you such a large amount of time that if you know what you're doing, you're in no danger at all. I mean, we're at 17 minutes and 45 seconds in the video and we got out of there in 6 minutes and 50, no, with 6 minutes and 51 seconds to spare on the timer that they gave us. But yeah, there goes one of the reactors. One of the eight. Uh, that should keep the planet going at least a little longer. Yeah. Barrett's just grunting. Okay, now everyone get back. It blows up. And... I never really noticed that before whenever I was playing that a lot of the, uh... A lot of the hand-drawn background... You can tell sometimes when the hand-drawn backgrounds change. But... My computer's a lot better than a PlayStation was. You know, hardware-wise. Yeah, this is the only way to get out of here. You have to follow Barrett. Even though he says to, you know, split up, you have to follow him. And look, there's Eris, the flower girl. Who lies to us multiple times. Nothing, hey... Don't see many flowers around here. You like them? They're only one guild. Buy one. Thank you. Here you are. Yep. Like, literally, you have to follow everybody around because that's the only way to get anywhere in this game. Now, we're about to see that same sprite again. Or model. Or... Uh, screw it. I'll say I'll switch off between them because yeah, yeah we're gonna fight them 
because it's going to literally be one that, it's going to be an easy fight again. Um, I'm not even going to select anything, though. But that same model that they were using for that person walking around, we're going to meet up with it again here in a few minutes once we get to the, uh, Once we get to Sector 7 slums. Or at least a similar enough one where I don't think that there's any difference. Yes, fight him. Fight me. I'm keeping an eye on the time that I've been recording because it just makes it that much easier. <laughs> Tell you the truth. All material would work wonders right now, because then I can do enemy all and just blow them all up. Uh. Doing, doing all attack. Take care of them all in one, in one round. Fight them. We're actually going to have someone behind us in this battle. Not like I care. They're not that tough. Seriously, it's not tough. Oh look, you did dope. You did much more damage than your buddy. Oh, you did damage as well. Oh, I hate using braver. Using a limit break on such a low level enemy. Alright, they're all dead. surrounded. That's as far as you go. I don't have time to mess around with you guys. Enough babbling. Grab them. And we jump on the train. Look at that. We're on the train. We're train surfing. Alright. But anyways. I love this scene. Because it's like, huh, he never showed up. Cloud never came. Cloud think he was killed. No way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cloud. Everybody misses Cloud. Yeah, that's Cloud running up. Do you think he's going to stay and fight for Avalanche? How would I know? Do I look like a mind reader? If you all weren't such screw-ups. Hey, Barrett, what about our money? Uh, you're angry and... No. Knock, knock. See, knock, knock. Who's there? Huh. Cloud, cloud, cloud. All of them yelling cloud at once. Looks like I'm a little late. You right. Oh, man. I just... I love the fact that this scene works the way it does. You were worried about me? I wouldn't. We're moving out. Follow me. And now everybody's going to sit there and say something to Cloud and jump out. You were great back there. Alright. <laughs> we'll do better next time. No, you won't. Careful. I'll shut the door. But yeah, if you look, her mouth does not move. Cloud, your face is pitch, is pitch black. There you go. And really, none of the characters' faces change. Alright. Thanks for helping me back in the reactor. Yeah. But I never noticed it when I was younger. Because I thought it was just amazing. See, that's the sprite. Or model or whatever that I was telling you about that girl on the very left of the screen that just ran out she you meet up with later uh, 
This is why I hate the last train. Oh boy. Yeah, nobody cares. Uh, this is my house, so make yourself at home. Yeah, of course I will. See the headlines in the Schrodinger Times? Here's blah, 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 blowing up the reactor, blah. Must have a real calculating leader. Wonder what they'll do next. Really? You're gonna think Barrett is... Uh, you know what, Barrett? Shut your mouth. Train hasn't switched to security mode yet. I'm sure that will change by tomorrow. Someday, Avalanche is gonna be famous, and me too. No. No. And you want to look at this? It's a map of blah, blah, blah. Midgar rail system, like this kind of stuff, bombs and monitors and all that. Are you hacking the computer on the train to show you the route? It's on a 1 10,000 scale. Top plate is about 50 meters above the ground. 50 meters. The number one reactor we blew up was in the northern section. Then there's number two, number three, all the way up to number eight. The eight reactors provide Midgar with electricity. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. Said names, we refer to them by numbered sectors. That's how things turned out. Phew, look at that, look what's next. This is the route the train is on. And we're just, the route spirals around the main pillar. We should be coming around the center right now. Each checkpoint has an ID sensor device. It checks identities and backgrounds of each passenger on the train. This is all a bunch of blah 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 that has very little to do with anything later than the second uh, reactor mission. We're in an ID security check center. Never know what kind of tre creeps will come out, but we're eco terrorists. Oh. I know, next time I'll make one just for you. Looking forward to it. Because, you know what? There's nothing wrong with hitting on the girl. <laughs> Even though she's, she's almost unique. Jesse and Biggs have just about the same face. I mean, seriously, if you ever look at them, they have just about the same face. And the bad part is, is we're spoiled nowadays because, you know, Final Fantasy 15 with its, you know, beautiful models and backgrounds and everything you know it's almost it's almost photorealistic there's very little about it that's not photorealistic and this was you know top of the line graphics back in 1997 they were seriously doing a lot with just this little bit that they had But I've always loved this game. It's an, um, it's an amazing game. And that took us about three... No. That took us longer than it took to get out of the reactor. <laughs> Just the train ride took longer than it took us to get out of the reactor. Now, let's, let's hold a meeting for... Let's, you know shout and and hold a meeting for our you know group that is supposed to be secretive right here by the train by a security guard and he's telling them to not get complacent because next one's going to be bigger now there's a security guard right there and uh meet back at the hideout all that you know emergency news is going to have on there about the bombing I'm not letting you go tonight, wow. Isn't there somewhere we could go to be alone? Wow. There's only a train graveyard around here, and they say that 
there's ghosts around too. Damn, what? <laughs> but yeah. This is... You know, this game has a lot of nostalgia in it for me. And he's like, hey now, oops, what on earth are you doing? Just butt out, geez, huh? You came to see it too? What were you doing over there? If th there was bombing on top, if this pillar should come down, everyone in the slums is dust. No point worrying about it. Hey, check it out. It's huge, ain't it? But, uh... There's design elements to this that I'm wondering why. And then, you know, you sit there and think, okay, maybe that's just the scaffolding and it's talking about the actual pillar right there beside it. You know, maybe that's just scaffolding and, you know, a platform for control circuitry. Maybe they have, you know, very little other stuff in it. You know what, Barrett? You can hold on. Because, uh, we're going to end the video here. We're going to save. And, uh, we're going to save both files, to both files. And... Let me get a bunch of figures. Do that. Is it sound and music volume? Okay, that's why it's so low. Okay. Alright. But we put that we'll put that on memory. But anyways. My name's Bane, this is Final Fantasy VII. I'm going to resave those because I don't want that setting to go away for the cursor. And uh, I'll see you guys later for the next episode. Have a good day.